Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you guys the new sector spaghetti indicator. I've recorded this video a hundred times, but I'm making a short form video for Twitter and then a really long form video on YouTube. And I'm going to show you the power of this indicator. So first of all, you're looking at a pre-selected list, but you can make custom ones and that's where the power lies. And um, this pre-selected list was made by Dan Crypto Trades. Um, he really pushed us to finish this one off. Um, and because of that, it turned out amazing. So thank you, Dan, for really giving us that nudge on that one. Um, so this indicator is a very powerful tool. If you're someone new, you could just load this up and Dan Crypto Trades one will be the default just so anyone new can get, get started and track sector performances very easily. And I think he's chosen these sectors really well. And what these sectors have is a set of assets that are weighted in his way for this instance. And it will then aggregate their change, the performances of those assets into one sector, which is really powerful on its own. But then we added some really magical stuff here that I'm going to show you now. So if we go down to the custom sector creator, you can have up to 32 sectors. Um, and that's just due to the limits that you can plot on TradingView. Otherwise, I'd have, I'd have way more. Um, but just, just for the sake of it. But like you realistically don't need that many for most people. Um, so yeah, you've got Ethan Soul for this instance. And Ethan Soul are assets one to one because it's just saying, I want to go from range one to one. But if you did range one to five, you can make a sector of all assets one to five aggregated with the weights that you wish. I'll explain more in a sec. Or you could do sole three to three because it's here. Or you could do three to eight if you wanted to do something like a market cap weighted via sole. Um, but then you also have this little dot sign, which lets you aggregate out of order. And the benefits of that is if you have ETH once, but you want to use it in a different market cap, you don't want to add ETH here again. I mean, in a different sector, you want to add ETH here again and put it in order so you can get like all of yours in a range. So you could do, I want asset one, I want asset six, I want asset 14 and 15, and you just do 1.6.14.15. And the benefit is that is being able to reuse assets as you wish without having to reload them every single time. Um, and this lets you add more assets for a more uh, diversified uh, sectors, which I think is really powerful. And what I'm going to show you here is the main power that comes from the weighting as well. The weighting lets you choose how you wish to obviously weigh the assets in each sector, which is very powerful for advanced users. Uh, if you keep it as one, it'll weigh everything equally. And so I'm going to show you guys ETH 1.1. One, one. It doesn't matter if it's it got its market cap weight because it's just weighing against itself. So it's just going to be 100%. And then Sol 3.3. Free free. So what's this going to do? They're, they're both weighed 100% because it's just them in their own list. And you'll be able to see the performance of ETH and Sol. But Sol E three four, so it's saying from asset three to four, they both have equal weight. So what we should what should we expect to see? Well, E will be performing, Sol will be performing worse, so it'll be lower, and an equal weighted Sol E sector will have Sol E's performance right between the two. However, the power comes from the fact that one of these sectors is weighted by market cap. So we got an asset one with this market cap and an asset six with this market cap. And what's that going to do? That's going to let you make a market cap weighted sector very, very easily. So you just grab the market caps from these sources, either CoinGecko or TradingView. You plug that in once, make your own custom sectors, and the code will just aggregate each sector for you. Their performance is weighed by their market cap very quickly. And so I'm going to show you that now. And what should we expect with this? Well, because Sol and ETH is 1-1 one, one for 3-4, with 1 and 6, as ETH's market cap is significantly higher, we should see this one's significantly closer to ETH than Sol. Whereas if we did something where it was roughly the same market cap, we'll only see slight differences. But anything with like a high beta can really mess up a sector's performance. Like for example, a really illiquid coin in a sector, um, if not market cap weighted, you might see a significant skew in your sectors. But if you do it market cap weighted, well then if it's so small in comparison to the other assets, it's a performance won't affect the performance of the sector as a whole too drastically. And that's where the power comes from. So let's let's actually prove the point. Let's go to custom sectors. Let's load it up. And as it's loading, um, just take a moment to appreciate that this also has the ability to do the invisible tails features that we have in ecosystem spaghetti. It's just not shown here for the ease of viewing when we're looking at the custom sectors. So if you look at the custom sectors, as, as expected, the ones that are equal weighted, ETH is here, SOL is here, equal weighted is exactly in between because they're both equally weighted. So you, you take both of them and you just divide the weights by two, or just divide the performance by two because they're equal. However, the market cap ETH to the market cap Sol is significantly skewed towards ETH 
because ETH has a significantly larger market cap than Sol. Now, I'm going to add something a little bit more interesting to prove the point as well. I'm going to add AGLD. So AGLD, I'm going to give it a mark. It's weighted one. Perfect. So asset eight. So I'm going to call AGLD. You can name this whatever you want, by the way, like literally whatever you want. Um, and then we'll do eight to eight because it's asset. It's one asset. So I want the, the asset from eight to eight. So it's just calling it once. If you do eight dot eight, it will technically go eight and eight. Um, I could fix that. I just didn't think it was necessary. Um, and you'll see that AGLD will be added to the sectors in just a second. It should be outperforming. If you see here, it's 12% up in a day with everything else tanking. So it should be like way up here. Uh, that load. And you'll see in just a second. Boom. AGLD is way over there. So what does that prove for us? You could have just shown us that with Eco Spaghetti. If I go into the sector creator again, and then I add Soul ETH AGLD. You don't need to change the name, but just, just so it's clear. Soul 3 and 4. Because we're doing asset eight, we can't really do three to eight because it will aggregate all of these. So let's do three and four, asset three and four, which is Sol and ETH, and then eight, which is AGLD. And you'll see this significantly go up because they're all equally weighted and AGLD is really outperforming today. So equally weighting them, we should expect it around here somewhere. Um, I just let, let it load and you'll see some magic. It's beautiful. How amazing is that? So you can do a equal weighted and then you can see how AGLD is like really skewing the performance because Soul and Eve are really tanking. They have quite a large market cap, but AGLD is way up here. Now, for the sake of demonstration purposes, the same time, I'm not going to do a, a weighted one for AGLD. Um, but if we just did it with the weights, just so you can kind of get an idea. Well, this one's weighted at one, so it won't really do anything. But just so you can kind of get an idea, it's asset eight, one dot six at eight. You'll see that this will barely move because the market caps are being taken into consideration. So, I mean, I don't even expect it to move because I've given that a weight of one and these have like a weight of 300 billion or some shit. Um, so just give it a sec. And you see, it's not moved at all. Why? Because this has a significantly higher weight. This makes this a low beta asset. Um, high beta asset, sorry, with like hardly any market cap. Can't really fuck up your sector. It's done doing it by weight. So if you put their weights in, it'll change a little bit, but not a lot. And that's the beauty of this sector spaghetti. It's the most customizable sector spaghetti that I've seen. I don't think there's, I don't even know, I've not actually seen one this good. Um, and I, I think most people, advanced users will find this like stupidly useful. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I will release this soon. <laughs> cool. <laughs>